Facebook, uh, Facebook Live, one of them crazy uh, connections. We're going to have to pray. You know how these gadgets don't like me. <laughs> but y'all do. Uh, Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I see these scripture study and prayer line on this 27th day in August, um, 2018, y'all. Let's, uh, let's get it in. James, thanks for chiming in. Big Sean, Steel Wheel. Uh, we getting it, we getting it. Yo, Sean, yo. <laughs> Let's get it in, y'all. Um, y'all hit y'all share buttons. Share the word, y'all. Um, yeah. Let's go to um, Yachanan 4. They call him St. John. Yachanan 4. Christy, thanks for chiming in. 4. Um, and, um, four and, um, 31. Look what it says. It says, <clears throat> in the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him saying, master, eat. But he said on them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. <laughs> Therefore said uh, the disciples one to another, hath any man brought him ought to eat? In other words, somebody brought him some food? <laughs> hey, Trenda. Christy, good morning, y'all. And Yahushua said unto them, my me is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Um, we all have people in our lives that would um, come to us in a loving way and say, eat. We kind of good at that. Yeah. AKA, um, preserve yourself. Self, uh, preservation. Serving the most highest, the most selfless thing you can possibly do. This is the most selfless things you, you ever do in your life. And we got to learn that. Now, if you watch the progression from religion to relationship in religion you're looking for um, Jesus to save you when, you, when you're religious you, you look for Jesus to save you Jesus did it all and, and as you grow you, you start to learn that the Messiah the Messiah um, like handed the baton when, when the words start to get broke down Appropriately, you'll find out that the baton was handed to you. He died for your sins. You believed it and your sins were forgiven. All your past sins has been wiped away. Moving forward, he baptizes himself inside of you and then he leads you to do a work. You're baptized into his death. You know, and as he was raised up by the power of the Father, even so we are walking in the newness of life and we become workers. We're, we're, we're working, you know, in the vineyard. And so, um, we don't need no one saying eat because we've been doing that. When he found us, we was eating. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was unyali. But we were eating. We were preserving ourselves. You know, we were seeking to save our lives. We was about our own personal agenda. And, you know, that that's that's natural. You know, you know, we get that. 
but taking the responsibility of uh, rolling your sleeves up, what, what they call like the Great Commission. You know, go ye therefore teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the uh, Ruach, Ruach HaKadosh. Notice in that scripture, there ain't number one name that fits all three of those descriptions, but we don't have to go there right now. But th there's a compelling, a roll your sleeves up. It, it, it's it's a, each one teach one, each one reach one. You know, it, it's... Um, Again, first seek you the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness, and he got you, and all this other stuff will be added to you, right? So in something as small as this, actually was big, there, there was a teaching moment in this, because the only thing they said to him was eat. He could have said, cool, you know? You know, I'm done with my fast or whatever, or cool. You know, he didn't say that. He used that as a teaching moment, because we got... Uh, people in our lives that tell us to eat, be about your business, your personal business, get your money, you know, take care of your family, be about your business, you know. Thanks for chiming in, Margo. And, 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 and but see, you got to get that. You've been doing that. I'm not saying you was good at it or bad at it, but we were all about uh, the, the pursuit of happiness for ourselves. Everybody. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed and said, Master, eat, man. I know you got to be hungry. All the work you're doing. Come on, man, sit down. Let's, let's, uh, let's please ourselves. Let's, let, let, let's fuel our body, our natural physical body. But he said on them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. They were following him, and he still told them, I have meat that you know not of, because there is a level of responsibility that the mature take on. A level of responsibility for the distribution of the word, the true living word. And his meat was in giving that word. It's kind of the opposite, right? You would imagine eating is receiving into your body to fuel your body. TK, thanks for chiming in. But 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 eating is literally opening your mouth and receiving fuel, food that will fuel your body. You chew it, you swallow, and it nourishes your temple. The meat that he was letting them know they know not of is exactly the opposite. He was feeding the word. He was working. He was, he was saving souls. He was living the example. He was putting the pressure on him. He was taking the pressure of the whole world and putting it on himself. He took responsibility for his surroundings. And to him, that was food. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yah. He was eating that true manna, the word. That's what he was about. And when we get saved, that's what we should be about. There's a changing of the guard. See, thanks for chiming in, Tracy. Christy. Listen. How things are now, they're not going to stay like that. And what's important now is not going to be so important in about five more minutes. Believe that. Things are going to change. And what people are in high pursuit of, they're going to find out they were like a hamster in a wheel. Chasing something that was completely temporary. The main objective to the gospel is to get saved. And you're being saved from yourself. You're being saved from sin. And when you get delivered from you, you then have permission to withdraw yourself from the course of this world and save yourself from this untoward generation. When you go through the mind renewal process, you pull yourself, your name out of the hat of this rat race. 
and you begin to trust the most high to be your supplier. And when you start trusting the most high, you don't try to please yourself through sin. You don't want nothing to do with it. You, you do not want to please yourself through something that y'all don't like. If y'all against it, you ain't with it. I don't care how much it pay. I don't care how gratifying it is, how good it feel, how good it smell, how good it look. You don't want to have nothing to do with it and you begin to eat a different way. See, when you're carnal, you're eating literally is at the dinner table. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Your eating is the consumption of, of natural things to fuel yourself. But when you are bought with a price, when you are born again, when you become that new creation, you have a whole new agenda. You look at things, you can see things, you can see the course of this world and where it's headed. And you withdraw yourself from that direction. When you go against the grain, saving yourself from this untoward generation, you understand that this generation is headed straight towards the devil, straight towards hell, st straight towards destruction, and you can see it. Don't let no diploma uh, uh, fool you, no degrees fool you, no Lexus emblem, no designer clothes, no, no six-pack or curvy body fool you. Don't, don't, don't let... Uh, 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 the ability to go on vacation, fool you, go on vacation. You done left your house, which is bigger than the hotel room. Tell about you on vacation. You living in a smaller, more meager, you paying way more for a little box where you, you came from, 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 <laughs> from, a, from a cool house to a, a to a small little room on vacation, right? Which is you living out of a suitcase. You brag and think you're important. You're living out of a suitcase. Everything costs more. You're running around. It's folks that spending ooh gobs of money and living in a little small room in San Francisco. They then flew all the way across the world and they bragging and happy. I can't stand San Francisco. <laughs> all them doggone hills. They paying big money. They bragging. I'm looking at them like, boys, you crazy. But the facade that get folks caught up in eating, eating. The deception of what success looked like. They ate it. Hook, line, and sinker. They swallowed the whole dog on pole. They ate it. When when they came to him and said, eat, he said, you're not going to get me caught up into this place. All they really was doing was offering him some food, but he, he hit them with some spiritual stuff. You're not going to get me caught up in eating here. I'm a pilgrim passing through. I'm on a mission. I'm about my father's business. I'm about my father's business. And everything I got belonged to him. Everything I got belonged to him. And I'm about his business. Family and natural stuff do fit. Without question. It just ain't first. I had a family first tattoo. Yah first. First seek ye the kingdom of Yah. If, if a person prefer mother, father, uh, spouse, children, yeah, even their own life over him, they can't be his disciple because they're going to choose that relationship over truth, over what he say, over the word. But when you put things in his proper perspective, you put the word first, his business first, he'll teach you how to love your spouse. He'll teach you how to love your, 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 your children and appreciate your family, your, your, your parents. He'll teach you. You ain't going to run around cussing your kids out if you put him first. You ain't going to run around here cheating on your spouse if you cheat, uh, 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 put him first. You'll learn how to be a husband if you if you put him first. You'll learn how to be a wife. You ain't going to be a loud mouth, muscular wife, uh, 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 chumping your, your man and all that old crazy stuff. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. You got, you man, you know jujitsu. If, if you don't physically know it, you know it in your attitude. If you mess around and understand the message that he was giving to the disciples when they came to him and said, eat. Some folks said, boy, you sure got carried away. All the thing I was doing was offering you something to eat. <laughs> I just wanted you to eat. I've been rolling with you. I see you ministering to everybody. His response was, I have meat to eat that you know not of. Where all that come from, Messiah? I need to teach you something. I need to teach you something. Jamesa, always a pleasure, young lady. But I need to teach you something. They offered him something to eat. We had uh, uh, John 4 and uh, 31. 
Jamesa. But 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 all they did was offer him something to eat. He said, in the meantime, he just got to come and minister to the woman. The woman went back in the city, said, I met a man, he's the real one. And in the meantime, when all that was going on, the disciples came to him and said, Master, eat. And his response was, not give me something to eat, give me a sandwich. He said, I have meat to eat that you know not of. I'm not on this, on this, on this carnal stuff. I'm not on that. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word to proceed. He's, he's changing me. He, if, if, if I'm in him, I become a new creation, a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. I know who I used to be. How I used to get out, how I used to think, how I behave. And I was eating. I'm working hard, making my own money, and I'm eating. And they, and they offered him to eat. He said, look, I didn't come here to, to eat like that. Man on a mission, woman on a mission, called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. I'm not that person no more. I can eat. You ain't got to offer me to eat. I know how to eat. Self-preservation come easy for people. Me and my family, that comes easy. It takes a, a mind renewal process. It takes a change for a person to stop eating First, and first seek ye the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness, knowing that he going to feed you. We're going to eat. It ain't time to eat. It's time to work. There's sin in the world. It's time to work. Things ain't right. <laughs> Told him to eat. He said, bro, 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 Come here, man. Look, I have meat to eat that you know uh, not of. I'm going to own something else. Hey, you coming? No, I'm going to go pray. <laughs> no, no, I'm not coming. See y'all when y'all get back. Y'all permit. Mm -mm. You want to go do? No. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm going to go meditate and read. I, I need to learn more about my father. I need to keep myself in check. I can't let me overtake me and cause me to pull back, to withdraw. <laughs> when we're about our father's business, right? Again, the first step is to save yourself from this untoward generation. You, and when you get saved, you see clearly. The scales fall from your eyes and you see clearly that there's others that need to be saved. Then you have a state of mind that my food is to give. It's exactly the opposite of taking food, putting your mouth, chewing it to nourish your body. If a man don't work, neither shall he eat. And that's in the natural, Right? Folks laying around want to eat and they don't work. Hey, man, start them, Joker. Tell them to go get a job. Tell them to go do something. <laughs> go be useful. Whatever you find your hands to do, go do it. Go do that, right? But even in the spiritual, it's the same thing. If a man don't work, neither shall he eat. He's working for the Father. That's his meat. And because he's working, he's eating spiritually because man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yah. When you apply the word that he has given you and put it into action, it turns into actions of love, tangible. You're willing to feed to buy the coat. You're willing to sow into the ministry. You're willing to give the ride. You're willing to give the kind word. You're willing to give. And if a man don't work, then should he eat. You're working for Yah. You're working for the Most High. And when you're willing to utilize what he gave you, he gives you more. He then feeds you. He's the one that supplies the seed to sow. Not only money, I'm talking about, he'll supply you the seed to sow. He'll supply you with the kind word. He'll supply you with the car to give the ride. He'll supply you with the house to warm, warm the, come on, somebody. He, he, we're, 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 we're Yah on earth. We're, 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 he, the Mashiach, the Messiah passed the baton to us. And, and we're about our father's bit. Look what he said. He said, uh. 31, y'all, John 4, right? Yakanah 4 and 31. In, in the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. Don't get to tripping because I ain't hanging with you on that level. I'm not finna go there. No, -uh, I'm about something else now. You talking about the old me. <laughs> Therefore said the disciples one to another, 
Have any man brought him ought to eat? In other words, did someone feed him already? He didn't know Yah's feeding me. The creator is feeding me. I eat through what you see me doing. You see me working for him and think it's time for me to sit down and eat. And I'm telling you, me working for him is feeding me. I got joy unspeakable. I can go through things that the average person can't go through. The lust that's overtaking folks because these folks is promoting lust in every which way they can. In the books, in the magazine, the video game, everywhere you turn, somebody butt naked and, and bending over, even in the cartoons. But I'm I'm able to, to, to overcome that. Where sin did abound, his unmerited favor, they call it grace. His grace did much more about. The, his unmerited favor on my life is apparent. That greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world because I'm working. I'm not just listening. He that he heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. When the rains descended and the flood came and the wind blew and beat upon the house, it didn't fall. Because it was founded upon the word, upon the rock. I'm eating a whole nother way. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word. Everything he say is fueling me. It's feeding my soul. It's causing me to be a new creation, a new creature in him. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I don't do that no more because I got a whole nother food jumping off. Y'all going to the restaurant? <laughs> y'all, yeah. Which, which, which restaurant y'all going to? Ooh, that. The, ooh, they feel good, but they high. You going to pay all that? Okay. You going to play the gratuity too? Okay, cool. No, no, I'm not coming. I'm about to go read. I'm about to go pray. Some, somebody, somebody just lost a loved one. I'm finna go over there and pray with them. I'm finna go. I'm finna go read. I'm, I'm finna go study. I'm finna go spend some time. Look, I got a lot of pressure on me right now. My relationship and my finance a little weird. I'm not. I'm not gonna seek to save my life. I'm finna go to the throne of grace with boldness to make my petitions known that I might obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. No, I'm not going. Hey, hey, hey! You hungry? You you ate? I have meat that you know not of. I'm on something else now. I've been called out of that. I've been called out of that. And now not only am I in high pursuit uh, to be saved, but I'm also in high pursuit to save others. I'm about my father's business, right? Isn't that what he said? Therefore, disciples said, who fed him? 34 verse say, and he said on him, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. He broke it down for my meat. You want to know, you, you got steak and potatoes, I hear you. I'm not mad at you. I'm not hating on you. Go eat. You know, I'll, I'll eat too, but it's after I really eat. I, I need to eat for real. I can't be running around here a hypocrite. I can't be running around here having a form of yalliness but denying the power there. I can't, that ain't me. I can't do it. You got to lie on me. You got Folks got to make up stuff. And then when we get the record straight, we just get it straight. But until then, I got to be about my father's business. <laughs> I can't, I can't do, I got to live this thing. I can't pretend. I can't fake it. I can't have a double life. I can't be sneaking. I'm too doggone old to be sneaking in the first place. <laughs> my meat is to do the will of him that sent me. Did you eat today? My meat, you offered me some natural food. He wasn't hating on them. That could come off a little snappy, huh? Hey, 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 man, 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 let's get something to eat. Oh, I got meat. Do you have nothing? Who's, why is you talking to me like that? I'm trying to teach you something. I come here to teach you. And it can sound abrasive to the carnal mind. Why you got to go there? All I did was say we finna go to the restaurant. Do you want to come? I want to give you, I want to let you know there's a whole nother food jumping off that you ain't even conscious of that ain't even on your mind it, it's way bigger than a little church service it's way bigger than a camp going to camp meeting <laughs> it's way bigger than uh shabak <laughs> it's, it's way bigger than uh 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 uh, uh, uh sunday what well, come on what, 
we got to get into a relationship. The word teaches us to save ourselves from this untoward generation. You got to know that the course of this world is uh, untowards him. L talk to some folks. They'll tell you, mind your own business. That's their business, and it don't matter. Everyone got their own path. and Some folks is reading the horoscopes to see how their day going to be and all that. These are the times we're living in. Merry Christmas, Happy Easter, whatever. Whatever kick you on. But at the end of the day, if you mess around and get a relationship, you become more user-friendly to truth. When you start eating truth and applying truth to your life, truth will cause you to get to work. When you eat, you work because you have energy. The word will give you energy to do. To him that knoweth to do good and doeth not, to him it is sin. We got to do. When the Most High reveals truth to you, you got to do it. And then he'll feed you some more. That's the process. You want to grow? Do what you already know. People believe that they can know something. He reveals something to them. They don't do it. They carnality say, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that level of responsibility. Then, then I ain't putting no more food on your plate. If, is it live or is it Memorex? You're just going to have to repeat what you knew from six years ago. Why would I give you something new and you ain't even doing what you know? Folks is trying to turn into a, 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 a scriptural brainiacs. Like the Greeks seeking after knowledge. <coughs> Forget the knowledge that puffs up make you proud life application is what it is if you know to talk to a person a certain way do that master that and then we'll move on to the next before you become a prophetess before you become a prophet become bishop tutu in the meanwhile his disciples prayed him said master eat his response to a corner of mind, be a little abrasive, like, man, just, you don't have to come back like that. He said, I have meat that you know not of. Was he telling the truth? Yep. He was on something way different. Yeah. Yeah, I need to spend some time with the Most High. Real talk. And not only do I need to spend some time with him, when he broke down his meat, he said, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me, to finish his work, not to start and stop. But to finish it, man, woman on a mission, you got a call on your life, get it done. Roll your sleeves up and identify with truth, not religion, which is tricky within itself. Too many people are in pursuit of religion and not true relationship. Because if you mess around and get true relationship, it'll snatch you out of religion. It'll snatch your attendance from it. It'll snatch your tithes and offering from it. It'll snatch your voice saying amen in it. It will pull you out of it so that you can really roll up your sleeves to grow. Because if you mess around and sit up on the truth, you become a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Remember this. Buy the truth and sell it not. Don't you turn your back on truth. You turn your back on truth. I'm running out of time, y'all. This is just a sermonette. But don't you turn your back on truth. Come on, y'all. Look, ain't nothing wrong with eating. You better. God take care of this temple. But you better eat spiritually first. And true eating gives birth to Yali action, a Yali lifestyle. Not just being the not just being the type of person that don't cuss and get drunk and high. I'm talking about you'll be about your father's business. And that's to compel others to come in. And we operate as a body. Everyone got a lane and everybody should be running their lane. Everybody got something to do in him that will draw souls. How you eat? Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this quick sermonette, spiritual snack to start off our day. We pray that the word will forth with clarity, falling down the souls of your children, springing up an everlasting life. We pray that we received it and that we respond accordingly, that our breakfast 
first will be coming to your throne with boldness to make our petitions known that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And that uh, that session, that breakfast turns into action. So then you will then supply us with spiritual lunch. Uh, we'll govern ourselves accordingly as we seek your face in these last and evil days. And we even thank you for this. In the matchless name of Yahushua, I'm see us when we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. We pray that the word found you and blessed you. Uh, good morning. Um, that was the spiritual breakfast for this morning, of course. We'll be back on tonight at uh, 7 p.m. a specific standard time. Pacific standard time, um, if y'all permit. That's what we definitely plan to do. Maybe you guys can meet us back here and eat some more after you have used uh, the meal from this morning. We absolutely love you. Easiest thing to do nowadays is to go witnessing because all you got to do is push share. If the lesson blessed you, then I'm sure you know it could be a blessing to somebody else as well. Share your, your social media platforms with the most high. Longs is true. Push share. Um, if you'd like to sow into the ministry, feel free to do so. If you if you bless, you know, the ministry, if it's true, then I I, I know that the word says Yah will bless you. If you want to do that, you can go to DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. Put it in PayPal. Go to PayPal. Put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. And know that we're on the conference line right now at 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Uh, chime in and hang out with us. We absolutely love you. Uh, good good to see you chiming in. Um, uh, uh, Jamesa, always a pleasure. Um, give me a call. Give me a call. Let her chat with you. Hey, y'all be Baruch. Continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Be Baruch again and Brock and Shalom.